We are back with more Mountain Connections on this Business Wednesday, and I'm very much looking forward to speaking with our next guest, Cozy Stobbs. He is an inspirational entrepreneur. He came from nothing and has risen to become a really impressive real estate advisor and investment individual. Thanks so much, Cozy, for being here today. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. You're here from Canada, so welcome to Park City. I am. It's beautiful out here. Well, yeah. glad that you're enjoying it. You're here yeah. at a beautiful time of year. Yeah. Now, you really started with not very much. You grew up with an immigrant family in Canada. Correct. Tell me a little bit about your background. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's important to uh, talk about how I started because if you look at what I've accomplished, and um, I've accomplished, you know, on any scale I've accomplished a lot but if you look at what I've accomplished and you look at where I started you'd almost think that it's unattainable like it's almost a miracle that I'm sitting in this chair right and I'm excited to be here it's a miracle sitting in this chair that I'm and I'm sharing the story and um, but if you scale that back and you look at the steps that I took to accomplish what I accomplished you look at those steps and you say it made sense that he that he was able to do that right and it's largely because of the level of effort that I put in to accomplish the things that I did and if I start even at, at a very young age, I really struggled as in, in school. I was one of the poorest students in my class. I struggled heavily with reading. A lot of that had to do with I had dyslexia and I, it was undiagnosed. So, you know, when the teacher goes around and has everyone read a sentence, that was the most uncomfortable experience for me as a child. And, and it, it really resonated with me because I would really stumble over all my words. And what that did was when we had to do public speaking events, I knew one thing, I, w I wasn't going to come in with notes in my hand because if I came in with notes in my hand, I'd be stumbling over them as I was speaking. So most kids would spend an hour or two trying to prepare for a speech. I'd spend 40, 50 hours preparing. And what that did was I could go in and not only did I not need notes, I started having more actions and mannerisms as I spoke. So people would say to me, oh wow, Kosi, you're such an incredible public speaker. But it was because I was putting in literally 20 times more hours than they were to do the exact same speech. And, and that's kind of how I developed my public speaking ability and, and even scholastically just studying and working a lot harder. As I started to get into work, I really wanted to be successful growing up. It was a big thing for me. I was 16 working at Burger King and I said I want to own 10 properties by the time I'm 30, right? I'm making minimum wage at the time. People looked at me and they laughed. And I was able to accomplish that. And not only did I accomplish that, I bought over 20 by the time I was 30. And then I went on to use those assets to buy business assets, right? So now I have over $50 million worth of assets. And as I say it to you, thinking about where I started, it's like, it's, it's amazing to me. But as I look forward, you know, I can see the growth of what else can be achieved. And, and the reason why I can see that growth is because I put so much studying in. Like, as I was buying businesses, I'd read hundreds of books on businesses. I've read over 50 books on Warren Buffett. When you read that much, you learn a lot, you pick up a lot. And that's why I said before, it's a miracle of what I've accomplished, but when you step down and you look at what I did to get there, it makes a lot of sense. If anyone read as much as I read, they would get to where I got to, right? So I was, uh, initially before I started, um, buying companies myself, I was working in a company. And I was able to rise really quickly up the corporate chat ladder because I, I knew so much about businesses, um, because I'd read so much. So I'm working as an engineer, and, and instead of talking to engineering, I'm talking to the business and the finance of the company. And that put me in a different realm, and I was one of the youngest managers of that company because I could communicate well and I understood business. And I, and I did all those things as I, as I learned, right? So my story is one of, um, I know we're in America, so I'll call it the American dream, right? And it's the American dream because I truly believe that absolutely anybody can do what I did, right? It takes a lot of time and effort, tens of thousands of hours focused in an area. But if you focus that in that area and you read as much as I do and you break it down over time, those opportunities are going to present themselves, right? I have to say that you're being a bit humble. You have this undeniably strong worth ethic. It sounds like you always had mm -hmm. this ability to just dive right in, work as hard as you needed to do, put in all the extra hours. You mentioned you worked at Burger King. You were able to earn enough money to go to college, become a mechanical engineer, exactly. and then start purchasing properties from there. Yeah. And now you're in investment, real estate, 
really this work ethic is what I'm very inspired by. Thank you. And it's, it's one, you know, if I think about it, it, it probably, it came from my parents, to be honest. Um, my mom came here as a nanny and then she worked uh, kind of in janitorial services in a hospital, right? And she also worked as a porter in a hospital and she never ever took a day off. She never took one sick day in her whole entire career. Even as she retired, they said, you have like two years worth of sick days. Would you like to take some time off? She said, I'm not taking time off because I'm not sick. And, and my dad is a very similar story. And having that, those as examples um, was really good for me. And then also, just my burning desire to want to achieve more. Like I, I always believed that I wanted to accomplish and do a lot more in life. So like that inside me, that kind of fire inside me just drove me to keep going, right? So when people were doing other things, I was focused in other areas. I just kept pushing and just kept going and saying, hey, if I keep going, I can do this. And I think because I had, I had early success with working hard because I was so scared of reading in front of people and that public speaking because I had early success, I saw the link between hard work and accomplishment. Because, uh, you know, when I started, you know, even practicing speaking, I was fumbling. And then uh, hours, as the hours went on, I got better and better and better, right? So when you do, if you practice one five-minute speech for 50 hours, it's going to be good, <laughs> period, <laughs> right? It, um, so that, that, uh, that, that set me to say, okay, well, now I want to buy real estate. So I started studying real estate. And I started with $8,000, bought properties, and I learned how to refinance and buy other properties because I'd studied all that. And then I, and then I understood to buy companies. You know, there's, there's places you can go to raise capital to help with the acquisition. There's also places you can go to get debt financing. And there's a lot of different ways to structure the purchase of a, of a company if the numbers are really good and you buy it for the right price. I learned all that. You know, I read from the greatest. You know, Warren Buffett is a multi-billionaire, so if I read about Warren Buffett, maybe he's got 80 billion, maybe I'll get one, right? <laughs> um, if you follow those steps. And, and they are really clear steps that he took and how he did things, and I just modeled myself after those things and started to acquire companies. And, and uh, my trajectory now, if you look at where am I going to next, you know, we've got over 100 employees now, over 50 million in assets, and the next step, you know, I can see, I can see the path to 500 million. I can see the path to a billion dollars, mm -hmm. right? It's clear to me. It's just a matter of kind of continuing down the, the road that I'm going, and you know, I'm, I'm 38 now. 58 will be different. 68 will be different. I'll always be doing this. I like enjoy it. Right? I really love it. So like, it's easy to do something when you enjoy it and you're you're into it and you're just driven by it. Right? Well, I have no doubt you'll achieve those goals. You really didn't let your past define you. You didn't give up. You mm -hmm. worked incredibly hard, as I mentioned. You're a very motivational person. How can we follow along with you and what you're doing and really continue to get inspired by your journey? Yeah, so I think the best way, I spend a lot of time on, uh, not time on, I, I have a pretty big profile on Instagram. That's probably the easiest way to connect with me and see what I'm doing day to day. Um, my Instagram handles the then the word property owl, so the property owl. And that's the easiest way to kind of connect with me. And if you message me, I'll message you back. Um, uh, and that's kind of where you'll see all the little things that I, I, that I get up to and where I share a lot of my insights. So I'll, I'll, I post quite a bit a day and I'll share things of like little tips and tricks of what I've done and what other people can do to, um, to achieve, and I'll say success and I'll use success lightly because it's different for different people. Like not everyone's trying to be me. Not everyone's trying to buy, you know, hundreds of million dollars worth of companies, right? Mm -hmm. um, but whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish, it's understanding that there is a road to do that. And more than likely, someone else has already done it, and you can find someone that you can model yourself after and then, and then kind of work towards it if you're willing to put that effort in. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much, Cozy, for being here today. Really are a motivational, inspiring person. Thank you. And I love what you said. Go for your dreams, whatever they may be. Yeah. Don't let anything hold you back. So it's definitely been a pleasure having you here in studio. Thanks so much. Thank you very much for having me. Find out more about Cozy at Instagram. He is at The Property Owl. Very motivational, inspiring individual, as I mentioned. And thanks again, Cozy, for being here from Canada. We'll be back with more on this Business Wednesday right after this.